day everyone welcome to another episode of quick math tutorial today we are going to learn about the equation of a circle general to standard for this session we will transform the equation of a circle from the general form x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero into the standard form the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equal to r squared now for our first example we have x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y minus 32 equals zero for our first step, we will group this equation with the same variable. And for those who do not have a variable or what we call a constant, so we have here 32, we will put them to the right side. So we have here. So we have here the group of x and the group of y. So we have x squared minus 8x plus, and the group of y, we have y squared plus y and for the constant negative 32 since this is ne negative so it will become positive 32 now for our second step we will add one blank for x and one blank for y and to be fair or equal since we add here two blanks so we will also add two blanks on the right side this process is what we call completing the square. To find the third term of x, the step is just simple. Just focus on the coefficient of the middle term regardless of the sign. So here in x, the coefficient of the middle term is 8. So 8 always divided by 2 equals 4. And the answer we will always square. So 4 squared is equal to 16. So therefore, we will add 16 here. And since we add 16 to the left side, we will also add 16 to the right side. Next, for the group of y to find the third term. So again, focus on the coefficient of the middle term. So we have 2. So 2 always divide by 2 is equal to 1 and the answer 1 always squ you square that 1 so 1 squared is equal to 1 so therefore we will add 1 to the y and to be fair we will also add 1 to the right for our next step we will factor the x group and the y group and here is an easy step to find the factors so just get the square root of x squared we have x the square root of 16 we have 4 and just copy the sign of the middle term so again the square root of x squared is x copy the sign of the middle term negative and the square root of 16 is 4 then put a square here Plus, for the y, the same process, just get the square root of y squared, we have y. Copy the sign of the middle term, we have positive, and the square root of 1 is 1. And put a square here, is equal to 32 plus 16 plus 1, we have 49. And for the final step, we have x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 49 can be expressed as 7 squared. Therefore, the standard form of this equation is the square of x minus 4 plus the square of y plus 1 is equal to 7 squared. And for our second example, we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 8y minus 5 is equal to 0. For our first step, we will group this equation with the same variable and for those who do not have a variable or what we call a constant, we will put them to the right side. So we have the group of x, x squared 
minus 4x plus the group of y, we have y squared minus 8y. And for the constant, since this is negative 5, it will become positive 5. And for our second step, we will add one blank for the x and one blank for y. Since we add two blanks on the left side, to be fair or equal, we will also add two blanks on the right side. Again, this process is what we call completing the square. Now, to find the third term of x, the step is just simple. Just focus again on the coefficient of the middle term regardless of the sign. So here in x, the coefficient of x is 4. So we have 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And 2 squared is equal to 4. Therefore, we will add 4 here. And on the right side, we will add 4. For the y, focus on the coefficient of the middle term. So we have 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And 4 squared is equal to 16. Thus, we will add 16 here. And on the right side, also, we will add 16. And for our third step, we will factor the x and y. So again, the step is just easy. Just get the square root of x squared. We have x. Copy the sign of the middle term, negative. And the square root of 4 is 2. And put a square here. Plus, the square root of y squared is y. Copy the sign of the middle term, negative. And the square root of 16 is 4. And put a square. Is equal to. 5 plus 4 plus 16 is equal to 25. And for our last step, 25 can be also expressed as 5 squared. So therefore, the standard form of this equation is the square of x minus 2 plus the square of y minus 4 is equal to 5 squared. For our third example, we have x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 8y minus 47 is equal to 0. So again, our first step, we will group this equation with the same variable. And for those who do not have a variable, we will put them to the right side. So we have here the group of x. We have x squared plus 8x plus the group of y. We have y squared minus 18y is equal to, for the constant, since this is negative, so it will become positive 47. For our next step, we will add one blank for x and one blank for y, and to be fair or equal, we will also add two blanks on the right side. To find the third term, we will just focus on the coefficient of the middle term. So we have here 8. So 8 Again, always divided by 2, which is equal to 4. And the answer 4, always square. So 4 square is equal to 16. So we will add 16 here, also on the right side. Next, the coefficient of the middle term for the y, we have 18. 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9. And 9 squared, which is equal to 81. So we will add 81 here and on the right side. Next, we will factor the x and the y. So again, just get the square root of x squared. We have x. Copy the sign of the middle term, positive. And then the square root of 16, we have 4. Then put a square here. Plus, the square root of y squared is y. Copy the sign of the middle term, negative, and the square root of 81 is 9, and put a square, which is equal to 47 plus 16 plus 81 equals 144, and 144 can be expressed as 12 squared. Therefore, the standard form of this equation is the square of x plus 4 
plus the square of y minus 9 is equal to 12 squared. Now, for our last example, we have x squared plus y squared plus 4y minus 45 is equal to 0. Our first step, we will group this equation with the same variable, and for those who do not have a variable, we will put them on the right side. So we have here x squared plus the group of y, we have y squared plus 4y is equal to, since the constant is negative 45, so it will become positive 45. Now, we will just add one blank for y since in x we only had x squared. So since we only add one blank on the left side, so on the right side, we will also add one blank. To find the third term of y, so just focus on the coefficient of the middle term. So we have 4 always divided by 2, which is equal to 2. And 2 squared is equal to 4. So we will add 4 here and 4 here on the right side. Now for our factoring, so just copy the x squared plus the square root of y squared, we have y. Copy the sign of the middle term plus the square root of 4 is 2. And put a square here, which is equal to 45 plus 4, we have 49. Or the 49 can be expressed as 7 squared. So we have x squared plus the square of y plus 2, which is equal to 7 squared. Therefore, the standard form of this equation is x squared plus the square of y plus 2, which is equal to 7 squared. So to sum it up, the general form of the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. And for the standard form, we have the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equal to r squared. That ends our quick math tutorial. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next videos, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.